Hello everybody and hello Samuel 10. Welcome to this very unusual video. Today I'm gonna reveal the secrets of the Russian octavist singing techniques. So this video is dedicated to Samuel 10 and to you as well. Let me explain why I make this video. Well, as you have seen it in the title and as you have heard it, the Russian octopist is one of the most amazing things I have ever heard in my life because the Russian octopist is the lowest singing voice and the lowest speaking voice you can ever imagine when it comes to speaking or singing. The Russian octavist sings one octave lower than a regular bass. So that means the lowest note a Russian octavist can sing is C1 or mostly F1 in that region. And this is first of all pretty low, but secondly, these notes are unamplificated cause the Russian octavist sings in a choir and the choir sings mostly of the time Russian Orthodox liturgy music. So low voices are required and the octavists make the job done and they do it pretty well. And there are a lot of videos in the internet of the Russian octavist and one of the most famous videos is called The Power of the Russian Octavist and I will give you a link in the description box below. And there I saw a comment written by Samaritan and he ju just simply asked there how can I practice the techniques or how can I uh, try these techniques out and I just gave him the, the advices and then he just responds and asks if I can make some um, tips or give him some lessons and Today it is my job to reveal the secrets of the Russian octavist singing techniques and to give him some advices as well. So with no further to do, let's go. The first thing you must do is train the yawning. You must train your yarn until you can yarn immediately and you can yarn automatically. So let me demonstrate it. So you must just yarn like that. Just try to yarn a lot because this is one of the parts of the core of the core of the Russian singing techniques. So if you have trained the yarning, the next thing to do is that you push down the learnings. So that means the learnings goes down automatically when you yarn. But you need to push the learnings down. It is extremely important cause the voice of the Russian octopus is extremely powerful, extremely loud, it needs a lot of volume of air and a very high pressure and a lot of resonance and all that together is only possible when you push down the larynx because when you push down the larynx, you have this voice like that. So this is how a low larynx sounds like. 
And as I have said, it is very important because it's the second part of the core of the singing technique. The next thing that's also very important is that you darken up the vowels. So that means if I can, if I say R, a Russian octavist sings almost an O, but O, so it's it's like an O, but it's still an R. So it's a very, very, very dark R. And when I combine that with the low larynx, then I have the core of the Russian octavist singing technique. And that sounds like this. So. I have now a very dark but extremely powerful voice. And this is only possible by darkening the voice and also by lowering the larynx. The next thing you have to do is to train the breath support. You must train the breath support because I have, as I have said it before, you need a very high volume of air coming out and also you need high pressure. It's almost like in the way you want to scream. So much power and pressure you need to make it possible that you can project your voice when it's deep in a church or even in a more larger um, like venue because you don't need any amplification and that is very very important because the Russian Orthodox music doesn't need any amplification at all only by larger Venues you need surely amplification because you can't be that loud that you can be heard by 3,000 people but mostly by thousands, 1,000 or 2,000 people and that is very impressive, isn't it? Just when you sing and you sing for 2,000 people without any amplification and this is only possible in the way that I have showed you before. So now I will give you the required exercises for this special technique. So as I have said it before just yawn. Just simply yawn a lot until you can do something like this. The interesting fact is all the possible uh, functions of the body of yarning are used but you don't have the feeling that you are actually Yarning. And this is very, very, very important because we want the learnings to have be uh, very low. So by yarning, you can see it right there. I so here's my learnings. So there it is. So I push it as low as possible and this is very, very important and here's why. When you push down the larynx, the upper uh, tube 
is going to be longer. So that means more possibilities to have more resonance. And uh, it is very simple. So if you push the learning stone, you have a darker voice like that. And just train it, just try to push the learning stone. So by just controlling the runnings and also the the back part of the tongue you can push it down as well and that helps to um, get the learnings down. So the next part is to darken the walls. So you darken the walls by just um, using the tongue and your mouth to produce a different sound of a wall. So if I want to produce an A as I have said it before I will say ah but the Russian octavist voice needs a darker sound so the A ah goes to O or even O but it's still an A, so O oh. and an E sounds almost like an U, so E, so R, S, E. So this is very, very important, and the U, U, U. And to get, as always, more resonance to the word, lower the larynx. The next part is to um, push a lot of air out of your body. So take a deep breath and then let it out. Cause. The more power I give to my voice, the more powerful it will be, the more overtones come out and the more darker the voice sounds. So let me demonstrate that only shortly because I don't want to scream the entire building up. but. Um, so, this is how it sounds like softly. This is how it sounds softly. But if I take a lot of volume out of my voice, it sounds like this, and even <laughs> all my drums and cymbals resonate with my voice because it is very 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 powerful and I just love it because I mean it's so powerful it's just amazing it's just over the top and I I, I really 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 like it so uh, it's just absolutely amazing and uh, yeah so that is the secrets of the Russian octavist in the core and uh, maybe you can train the songs of um, the 12, 12 Pregnants or don't reject me in my old age, which is an absolutely uh, great song that I really, 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 really love. 
because it is a solo song for the Basso Profundo and it begins directly with just extreme power required for the Basso Profundo voice and uh, it's just just simply amazing and uh, great when you want to sing these um, solo parts and uh, I just forgot something uh, you must also have a deep voice like me and I don't know how old you are but uh, it's very important that you have a deep voice because then it is very powerful and very nice when you project the low sound of your voice like that and it's very amazing I really love it and yeah going back to the song so there are a lot 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 of great pieces for the Russian octavist and the um, Russian music in general and uh, I just want to invite you to go to the Facebook group that I have mentioned before the link is in the description box and you can join in the group and uh, you can find great people there and uh, I can tell you it's just so amazing and I really love to be a, a part of this group and uh, I hope this video helped you a little bit uh, of the work of the Basso Profundo and I hope I have revealed everything about it and yeah just let me know it and uh, yeah so that's it um, for today uh, we'll see us in the next video